I've been drawing Frank comics since about 1992. The main characters in the Frank stories are Frank himself, who's a generic anthropomorph, just a pure cartoon character. And the other main character is not exactly his nemesis, but he's an unpleasant guy who lives there named Manhog. And Frank also has a sort of a resident godling companion whose name is Pupshaw, and she keeps an eye on him and protects him and helps him and gets things done for him. My inspiration for these stories simply comes from the strangeness of life, from the sense that there are invisible forces behind things and that things happen for reasons that we can't fully understand. The sun goes down, Frank is asleep. Something wakes him up. And what that something is, is this sort of Leviathan creature coming up from underneath his boat and biting it in half. When I was a kid, I was very young, I used to have what I now call apparitions. I used to see faces and big eyes and scary rotating objects hovering in the air of my room. And eventually I realized that these things were not real, that I was just having neurological misfires and that these were just going on in my mind and that they didn't have any significance. You know, I really do see the world in a strange way. I've, I've kind of had to work at keeping it that way since it became my bread and butter. I, I think for a lot of people who have problems or quirks like that, the most important thing to do is to put it behind you as soon as possible. I've actually worked at keeping this stuff alive in me because it's like, the, it's grist for my mill. It's what I use and I like it. People think that Frank's world is very strange. I, I think it's a lot less strange than this place. I've never gotten used to being here. I've never quite understood what it's all about or why it's happening or what it is. I don't have any words in my comics because what I'm trying to do is difficult to put into words. It's much easier to show it than to say it. Want to be a member? Want to be a member? No! There was a Fleischer cartoon that I saw when I was a little kid called Bimbo's Initiation that probably had more effect on my life than any other piece of art I've ever seen. And I'm sure that Frank uh, sprang from that primordial memory. You know, people have this misconception of Jim Woodring as being this wild-eyed maniac, but he's uh, really pretty sedate and sort of disappointingly normal. <laughs> I have learned how to emulate a normal human being pretty good, but if I revert to type, I am a wild-eyed maniac. I would rather be a wild-eyed maniac, and if the consequences of living and behaving that way weren't so dire, I would be out of control because I like it. The Giant Pen Project was just pure fun for me. This is it. Six foot not including the nib. Ultimately, about 400 people showed up to see the pen draw. And right off the bat, some trouble with dripping. It's a failure, go home. <laughs> but nobody goes home. Instead, the ink is thinned out a little bit. In the end, they decided that that was more dramatic and more interesting than just having it work right out of the bat. Let people know the kind of difficulties that I was up against in making this thing go. It works. I'm glad people like my work. When I look at it, almost always all I can see is how it falls short. I like the feelings that I manage to convey through my work sometimes, and I like it that other people pick up on those things, even if I don't, but I always feel that my work is inadequate. But it serves its purpose, and it seems to go over well enough with the people I want it to appeal to, so I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm glad. I'm happy that people like it. Mm -hmm.